our evangelist part. Can we say amen? amen. Let's stand to our feet for the scripture. Praise the, Lord. Praise the Lord. Our scripture this morning is coming from Psalms 33, beginning at the first verse. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is commonly for the upright. Praise the Lord with heart. Sing unto him with psaltery and instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud noise. For the work of the Lord is right, and all of his works are done in truth. Ah, my shine. Oh, awesome. Ah, for the word of the Lord is right, ah, and all of his works are done in truth. He loveth the righteousness and, ju and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them. By the breath of his mouth. Hallelujah. I read first verse through the through the six. May the Lord have a red blessing to the people and the hearers of his word.
I want you 
he's here to live your word. Whoever's online, oh my God, hallelujah. Uh, whoever would hear this later, hallelujah. Hallelujah, he's here. just to be here. So come lay down the burden of truth and carry me. So come lay down the burden of truth and carry me. You know I'm not just sinners. So come lay down the burden
This weekend for our food bank, our food and clothing giveaway. So you can invite all those. I will post it online. All those that need or know someone that need, please. Today is a time when the food is high. The food is high, and there are a lot of people still in need of food. There's still a lot of people in need of food. We have the ability to serve. And we will be here Saturday serving the people of the community. On next Sunday, we will be going over to Bishop Ross 
for his anniversary, for his anniversary service, the church, the church anniversary service, we will be going at 334. We will be going over to Bishop Bar next Sunday afternoon. So we want you to be aware of that. You can join us and we usually have a good time when we go over there. Following that, the following Sunday, the following Sunday, which is the 16th, we'll be have our Think Pink Sunday. We honor and breast cancer awareness. And we want you to come with the testimonies, come to just, you know, we want to just, uh, we want to come and praise God for what he's done. We want to bring awareness and yet we want to thank God because we know uh, survivors, we know thrivers, glory to God. God has kept the caregivers that he took us through it. He took us around it. He healed our body and he kept us. And so we want to pray God, although we want to be aware, we want to share the awareness, we want to come in praising God because it could have been worse. And we want to honor him for keeping us. Praise God. And we want to keep in mind that on uh, next, in next month, Pastor will be uh, speaking over at the church of the Lord Jesus Christ Apostolic, and that is in, I'm sorry, that's uh, um, in Apple Valley. Yes, that will be in November, and we will keep you updated on that. That will be in November, but we just wanted to bring it back to your mind. I will be speaking at Apostle, I mean, Bishop Randall's appreciation service. So we want to keep him in prayer. Continue to pray for all of our senior citizens and our sick and our shut-in. Though there are a lot of people that join us online, there's some people that can't make it here and then they send their offerings and things and we want to continue to hold them up in prayer. We want everyone to be encouraged. There are a lot of people that got things going on, but we want to keep them in prayer. Okay, we're going to pray together so we can stay together. Pray, God. We're going to continue to pray and be a servant to those that need that whatever God commands us to do, we want to be found doing it. Continue to pray for Deacon Renee. He, he, we're probably going to see him soon. He's in his place now. God has blessed him to get into his, his place, and, and he, he's a happy camper right now. He, he, he's happy. He's happy. But God is going to bless him. He's still tying up some loose ends, but you're probably going to be seeing him soon because he's happy. He okay. <laughs> Continue to pray for uh, uh, Papa Pete. You know, God is bringing him along. Continue to pray for him. He's talking and been saying oh, some other food. You know, you know, because he's one to like go out and eat. So he'll come in and you know, eat a burger. You know, or something like that. All the healthy stuff we keep giving him, but he wants something else. So continue to pray for him. But God is bringing him along. Praise God. We just want to hold everybody up in prayer that needs it. All the bereaved families, there are a lot of sadness around, and we want to pray that God continue to hold them up. And uh, yes, that, thank you for that. That reminder, Pastor Paul uh, in Florida, he's good. That God has kept them through because he's in Jacksonville, Florida. And God, he, he showed video around his place. It, it did not get overtaken. So God kept them through this hurricane, and we bless God for that. He's okay. He's okay. A lot of destruction in uh, Florida this go round, but God kept them. God kept them, and we thank God for that. Turn the service right now. We're gonna open up for our offering time, and then we're gonna turn it into the hands of our pastor. On our offer time, and you know, we, we you're welcome to give on sale. You're welcome to give on give your buy. Praise God. If you have an offering in the house, you can uh, uh, bring it in now. It's offering time. Remember, we thank you in advance for what you do because God, God is so good. We just thank you in advance because this is good ground. And whatever seeds you plant, we always ask that God uh, uh, bring it back to you double, triple, uh, and hundredfold in blessing, in peace, in comfort. If it's not in cash, 
all those other things that cannot be thought. Praise God, we ask God to cover you and to uh, uh, supply all your needs. Praise God, and we get ready to turn it into the hands of our pastor. But we just thank God for everything that he's doing. So I just want to thank you forever and ever and ever and ever because you've just been good. All in your presence, everything that you've done. Okay. And ever, never, God. He knows who's here. He knows who's on Zoom. He knows who's on Facebook. He knows he knows where everybody's at. Or he knows where we be. And when Lady P, when she was saying and and uh if the, the scripture came to pass, the cares are going in for what he cares for you. So all the things that we were going through in the songs and, and even that first song, because we was up north, and uh, I just want to thank you. <laughs> Glory to God. And that song is yet messes me up. Glory to God. All the songs of that was being sung. But I'm saying, but I, I started on because I just it's something about that. Oh, I just want to thank you. When you walk through your house and you walk through your place and you and you know that you just can't get it, God enable you to get it. He's the one that gives you power to get the wealth. Glory to God. And so what happens is you find yourself what I just want to thank you. When you're driving in your car, Albert, and you know at one time I was catching a bus, and one time I wasn't able to drive. But oh, I just want to thank you. Oh, Lord. And, I, and, I, and sometimes you just walk into the market, and you know you didn't have all the money that you need. But God, Give up! But be 
started it, he's going to finish it. All glory to him. That's a, that's a, that's, that's just a, that just helps out with everything we be going through. It's like being confident. Even when you don't see it, but being confident in the God that you serve. Yes. Hallelujah. He ain't going to start something in you and not finish it. I thank God he's not man like we said before. Yeah. Hallelujah. Man would get upset or whatever, but God is going to finish it. Yeah. Hallelujah. All is, the promise that he gave it to the forefathers for the children of Israel. And he yet, oh God, he yet held on to the promise. He gave it to oh God because he promised Abraham. He promised them. And turn around, he fulfilled it. And Lady P said, one other thing, get ready, get ready, close. <laughs> Lady P said something about the scepter. Everybody can't come in the presence of the Lord. He had to put a scepter out. Yes, yes. So you'll be able to come into the presence of the Lord. And here he allowed us to be in his presence. Yes. Glory to God. At one time we couldn't have been in his presence. But he allowed us, huh? Because he went to the cross. And he died for all sins. Yes, yes. Now we have an opportunity to be able to come boldly to the throne and ask for help in the time of need. So we thank God. Hallelujah. He took that center. Glory to God. He allowed us to be able to come in his presence. You know how important that is? Yes, yes. When you could not come in his presence, atonement is God. Glory to God. There will come to us God. There will be one place to be in there. Hopefully, we can take care of all their sins. Put in forgiveness. We need a whole lot of things. We need to talk to them. Sad one, why did that piece wasn't right? And they had to wait a whole lot of time. And then they would have bells on the priest, as you know, that's the story uh, in the Bible. It said they had bells, so that, and they had a time on because anybody couldn't go in the holiest of holies. So they took that, so they had a rope on him. And when he stopped moving, they had their bells stopped. That wasn't a good sign when their bells stopped moving. And so I mean, the priest fell down. Something went wrong. He was playing. And what did they do? They pulled him up. And they had to wait for him down here. He allowed us to come boldly before his throne. We know you when you're looking in your throne. And when you look at the same thank you. You can come in the presence of you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You are waiting for somebody else to go for you. That you ain't with the come. And let us be courageous and praise God here to our neighbor. And I was thinking that for us. What he went through was a process. And that's sometimes, thanks to God, things are a process. We have to go through them sometimes. And, but the thing is, we want to go through with God. Because we know that if he, if he brings us to it, he was going to take us through it. Because that's the kind of we serve. Because he is not going to leave us halfway there. And not finish it. Be confident that he's going to finish the job that he started in us. So, saints of God, I got already a witness. And we be God. Thank God for, for the service. God knows exactly what's to do. He knows how to have the law multiply. He knows how to make the most of the law. He knows. He just knows. But we thank God for your presence. We thank God for your earbuds today. Thank God for all of Glory to God. I thank God for every song that's done and that was fun today because it was like a day. And I just want to thank you. So I can thank God for your presence. We thank God for each and every one. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There's nothing else we're going to get ready to dismiss. Glory to God. And I thank God again for each and every one. Thank God for your presence. God is an awesome God. So cash and cares about him, or he cared for you. Glory to God.
glory to God. Ooh, glory to God. Again, be blessed, saints. If nothing else, we're going to stand. Mm -hmm. And again, we thank God for each and every one. Thank you, Anthony Preston, for being this morning. Thank God for showing up for us and being able to not just show up. But he, but he allows, but allows to get the victory of all the things that's fallen in our life. The enemy come in to try to move us and he wants us to be caught in those things. But when you continue to praise him, all of a sudden you find yourself those things, you know, of course, he, he, he has a way of giving you the victory over those things. Because that's what the enemy wants to back up to that over God. But we know that God is the one that takes care of the things. And he would do just that. Because again, that's all part of it. But if he's going to, if he's going to take care of you, he says, care of cash, care of him, care of you, he's going to take care. How he does it is in his own way at all time. But he gives us promise, glory to God. And then and that's why I was saying that one scripture and, and, and being confident in the best of everything. That he started something, he's going to finish it. So, say, say, I did a name which you talk about. Thank you today, no more. We thank you each day when it came out. We thank you, O Lord. We thank you, O Lord, for having your way, O Lord. We thank you, O Lord, for the movement of the Spirit, O Lord, allowing you to engage us, O Lord, to orchestrate, O Lord, and to understand different parts in our lives, O Lord. We know exactly what each and every one of us going through, O Lord. We thank you, O Lord, for the victory that you have given us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you, O Lord, for having passed all my cares before you. We know that you care for us, O Lord, and that we thank you for O Lord. Thank you, O Lord, for which we have started each and every one of our lives and our families, O Lord. And we thank you, O Lord, because we know that you are going to complete it, O Lord. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, O Lord. We thank you for all that you're doing, which you continue to do, O Lord. Lord, God, continue, O Lord, to guide and lead us. And what happens to help your way, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, God, I'm here to you, Lord. Family, Lord, our loved ones. I pray you continue to save, deliver, and set free, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we're there to give you honor, we're there to give you the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Be blessed. Thanks for joining us again. Thank you. Thank you.